guys, it's Doll Space. Obviously, this is a crafting video due to the weird angle without a doll. So, I don't know about you guys, but my family always goes to a party on New Year's Eve, and they fondue with some friends. Sadly, I don't actually get to fondue. Only the adults do. But still, I thought this would be a fun craft to do. So I'm going to be showing you how to make some chocolate and cheese fondue for your American Girl dolls. That doesn't have to be for New Year's Eve, but I thought it'd be good to get this up now. The first step is to take an old yogurt or applesauce container. This one is mine. And then you're going to need some cardboard. If you don't have cardboard, just be sure to use a more sturdy paper. So I actually have this paper right here. It is just a little weird shape because um, it's my pattern for the Luciana halter top. So now I'm just going to oh, trace around the cup onto my piece of paper and if you have cardboard onto your cardboard the cardboard that I was planning on using I realized was too thick so I'm personally going to be doing this craft without it so there's that perfect circle and then you're just going to take some scissors. I'm looking around my room for the sharpest pair. And you're just going to simply cut it out. And I will do that once I find a pair of scissors. After cutting out your circle, or circle, there. Okay. After cutting out your circles, or a circle in my case, you're going to want to either choose to paint, paint it, or you can choose to use markers and some school glue. So just know that if you are using the cardboard method, you'll need to cut out two of these, one to go on each side. So it'll like sandwich in the cardboard, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to actually be using the marker method because I don't want to make a mess out of my room. So what I'm going to do is just color over the entire side that I want colored. Oh, and of course this marker doesn't work. You could also try a colored pencil or a crayon, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. This is very neon cheese. And by the way, this is recycled paper. On the other side is like homework or something. So I'll get back to you when I finish coloring this in. If you're using paint, the next step is to just like swirl the paint around to make it look like a liquid. But if you didn't use paint, this is where the school glue comes in. You're going to do that with some school glue because it needs to look like melted cheese or melted chocolate or whatever type of fondue you're making. I decided to use clear because I find that looks dry a lot faster and it's already New Year's Eve when I'm filming this. So the white always takes longer to dry because it has to become clear and it has to also dry so that's how I find it works for me at least. So now I'm 
I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to do my chocolate on the other side. Now it's time to color the other side and add glue. Now that both sides of my fondue are done, I'm just going to stick it in my bowl. It would be better if your bowl wasn't clear, but you can still definitely take a bunch of cute pictures if your bowl is clear like mine. So now it's in there. And your dolls are going to need some things to fondue. For the chocolate fondue, you can use strawberries and marshmallows from my DIY 4th of July doll food video. For the cheese, you can use pretzels and some type of bread or cracker. And if you need doll fondue sticks, I've learned that toothpicks work just fine. I think this was a very easy and simple craft that can be used in many different ways. It definitely doesn't have to be for just New Year's, and I'm sure your dolls will love it either way you use it. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as leave comments and suggestions for upcoming videos. Sorry the camera's shaky. In order to get a good angle of all this, I couldn't use my tripod. But anyways, guys, have a good new year, and bye! Okay, that's very weird.